Hello and welcome to my channel. Now, you join me here in Kirklees Priory, Kirklees Park as it is also known. And in today's vlog, we are on the search for Robin Hood's grave. Now, the story goes that uh, Robin Hood died uh, due to uh, bloodletting gone wrong. And I'll tell you a little bit more about bloodletting uh, later on. But um, where he ended up when he was really poorly was at this nunnery which stood on these grounds in Kirklees Park. And I do believe that the, um, the last part of the building that is still standing of the old nunnery is just down there. And I do believe that is where Robin Hood shot his last arrow. So the story goes that he shot his arrow from this building down here from the upper window and it traveled over in kind of this dist this way hope you can still see me it traveled kind of this way and um where it landed he asked to be buried and we're going to find where that arrow landed today so stay with me so i hope you got the gist of today's vlog we are on the search for england's most famous outlaw and my uh, loyal subscribers, thank you very much for continuing to uh, follow my channel and support my channel. You will know that um, I don't usually know exactly where the subject of my vlogs are. And I do a bit of wandering because I like the journey and I like the story. And today is no exception. We are searching for Robin Hood's grave, of course, where the arrow landed from the building that I showed you at the beginning of the vlog. Now I've just come to a bit of a lighter opening in the wood and let me just tell you this wood is supposed to be haunted uh, by a more recent story in fact um, of three nuns and there is a pub called the three nuns very close by it's actually called something else now but uh, for many years i've known it as the three nuns and uh, most people in huddersfield will remember it as the three nuns and around here there's nun brook and the story goes that in later years the nunnery um, became known as a place of disrepute because the nuns in Kirklees Priory, as it was known then, uh, were having relationships with the, uh, with the priests and it went on for quite some time. And three nuns in particular, and I'll name and shame them, of course, in the description below so you can have a read of that. I think we were, were in the uh, 13, 1400s, a long, long time ago, but still I don't know what that was. I'll tell you these these woods are haunted. <laughs> what was that noise? I think there's something there. There's something up here. I can hear it. There was a weird noise, man. Heard a weird noise. Oh, I haven't found anything. I definitely heard a weird noise. I hope that you heard it too. But 
these woods are haunted i'm telling you but uh, yeah i heard a, a weird noise i'm sure my microphone will have picked it up it's probably a deer but it's still spooky anyway where was i uh, let me get myself together <laughs> So, got myself together now after I was rudely disturbed by the ghost. It was probably a deer, to be honest, it was probably a deer. There's lots of deer around here, amazing that they're so close to the motorway. So it's quite a dismal day and a little bit foggy as well and there is some rain on the way. Uh, we've already had a little bit of rain. So as I was saying, um, it is haunted apparently by the ghost of one of the nuns who committed suicide in, in Nunbrook and uh, lots of other mysterious goings on. I mean, the story of Robin Hood's death is quite well known. Robin Hood thought he was dying, so he sought out the help of a cousin of his who was a nun at the Priory, and um, he wanted her to, to bleed him, and it's a, a, a process called bloodletting. On his way in here with Little John, the big guy, they met an old hag in these woods and uh, apparently she put a, a curse on Robin Hood. So these woods are, are pretty spooky and it does feel pretty spooky in here as well. Well, look at this awesome building. It doesn't get much spookier than that. I don't know how old this place is. If anyone knows what that means over the uh, entrance there, it says uh, MCMV carved into the wood uh, lintel above. I just had a little look around with you. I um, uh, hope you enjoyed that. But uh, yeah, so Robin Hood is, at this point of the story, Robin Hood is in the Priory with his cousin and he's come to have his blood let because he believes that he's dying. Bloodletting, what, what is bloodletting? Well, it's sort of a bit of a, um, full of bit of hocus pocus actually, uh, but it does date back to the Roman times. And basically they, uh, they cut you in certain places and literally bled you, hoping that all the uh, badness inside you bled out and that includes any sort of uh, impurities in your blood and also evil and it was often done by someone of faith uh, like a priest or a nun and that's why Robin sought out his cousin here at Kirkley's Priory so that's where Robin Hood is now but what an amazing building look how uh, nature is taking over this building absolutely amazing so it's not getting much spookier than this. So where are we in the story now? Yes, Robin Hood is at the Priory with his cousin to be bled because he believed he was dying and uh, thought the bleeding process would cure him. They invited him in and I say they because there was uh, Red Roger of Doncaster. What a great name. And apparently his cousin and Red Roger were lovers. Robin Hood didn't know that his cousin was actually uh, disappointed in him, deeply disappointed, uh, because he was opposing some um, corruption in the church. So she was really upset with him. But some stories say that uh, it was Red Roger that paid his cousin to actually kill him. Uh, so yes, he's there bleeding to death and he realises that he's actually dying and uh, then summons Little John, his uh, helper that he's brought along, the big guy, uh, summons Little John with three blows on his horn out of the window of the Priory building that we saw at the beginning of this vlog. And Little John came to his aid and uh, realised it was too late, Robin Hood was actually dying. And his last request was that he fired his last arrow from the window of the gatehouse. Wherever it landed, 
would be where he wanted to be buried and we are searching for where that arrow landed and we've come through the woods and uh, hope you're enjoying the vlog so far it's really spooky and we can't be far away now from where the site of Robin Hood's grave is So we found the grave of Robin Hood and I will tell you something, that was quite a shot with that arrow to land here. It's a long way back to the Priory window where he shot the arrow from. But the story is of course full of controversy. There's even controversy as to whether there was ever a body here. Um, they've had it sort of scanned and uh, people say that the ground underneath hasn't ever been disturbed uh, enough for a burial. And no bones found either. But I'll tell you whose bones have been found. The grave of Little John exists under a yew tree and um, his bones were, were dug up and they were the bones of someone that was over seven feet tall. So I like to believe that the whole thing is true, maybe exaggerated a little bit over time, but I've definitely enjoyed finding the grave and uh, so spooky, unbelievable. And that building we found further back, what about that? Hope you have enjoyed the journey as well. I've enjoyed your company with me, or of course I would have been all by myself. So I upload a vlog every week, so if you've enjoyed this one, consider subscribing. And if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye.